Lori's passion for kayaking. The fact that anytime I text her, she's, she's ready to go. Just really passionate about the outdoors in general. Lori's definitely super passionate. She's got a lot going on in life. She's got a daughter, a husband, a job, all that stuff, and still manages to like get on the water as much as she does. It's, it's pretty impressive and something I definitely look up to. My name is Lori Newfeld. I am a wife and I'm a mom and I work with youth in the inner city and I love to kayak. I love kayaking because it's so diverse. It can be whatever I want it to be. Some days that's just me and my boat and one hour in the morning. Other days it's a big expedition. Some days it's out with the guys on the Bird River running rapids. And some days it's with Finley sitting in the front. Yeah, kayaking attracts people from all walks of life, all abilities, all age groups. Like, I've had Finley on the water at five weeks old. I took my 85-year-old grandma out. And just depending on you know, what kind of boat, what kind of equipment, where you are, you can make it work for anybody. So Lori and I have worked together for about three years now. She's a leader. Uh, she is an advocate for paddling uh, for inner city kids that don't normally get the chance to get out on a kayak, uh, get out paddling on the river. Uh, she's given them a safe opportunity to do it and the kids love it. The great thing about my job is that we get to introduce different opportunities to kids. So it's been great that I, every summer I can take out a group of kids and, and just go for a paddle right in the city and make it super easy. And, uh, and they love it and they just really enjoy giving, giving it a go. She's inherited the infamous title as River Mom. She takes care of pretty much everybody on the river, um, whether that's adjusting your equipment, making baking uh, for the takeout, taking you out to the river, whatever. She's had that role for quite a while now. I've seen it with my own son. Lori's role in our community is definitely kind of like it's hard to say, she's kind of like the mother of the household in terms of the community. We often joke that she's like our river mom. She definitely watches out for us all on the river. She's pulled me out of many, many scary situations before and, and Lori doesn't really paddle with an ego. She's okay to walk big rapids, but is, is so, so willing to set safety for us and kind of talk us through things and, and help us out when things go south. A hug after a rough day, whatever it is, right? On and off the water, she's always there for us. So a few years ago, I just kind of asked the question, like how many days of paddling could I actually do in a year? Considering we have like six months of winter, I was like, well, could I do 100? She like basically committed to starting like as soon as the ice came off and was paddling like every single day and it was pretty sweet. It was all about just, uh, you know, making your soul as happy as can be and, and there's definitely a connection there for her when she's on the water. So it, uh, it puts her in a good place and, and then that only benefits everybody that surrounds her. I learned a lot on those days, I learned that some days you really have to push yourself. So I ended the year with 138 days. And yeah, I'm kind of on track to, to do it again this year. When I set a goal, I, I reach a goal. Yeah, it's just me and the boat and the blade. And I just go and it's, it's awesome.